Hello again, this is Bob. I have a quick video here, mainly for people that have a grizzly lathe. I was having trouble with the compound being too loose. So I tightened it up with the jib, and then I couldn't turn it. This got, you couldn't, see I'm, it's very hard like that. So what I made was this, two holes, 19 millimeter. They are, hold on, two inches, a little over two inches apart, but I use transfer screws and then screwed them in here and then hammered this. So anyway, with this on here, you've got, it's just easy as heck, it's great. And then if you turn this all the way around and it's gonna be in the way of the tailstock, which it was earlier, pull it off. It's got a magnet in the back right here that sticks onto there and uh, handle spins. And it's just really easy because to, to get this, to get this tight enough where it doesn't move, uh, it's just too darn tight. So this is great. Secondly, these bolts right here, these T bolts are horrible. They're weak, they're cheap, they both stripped. Here's what you gotta do. Get yourself a 5 16 carriage bolt, grind a small flat in it right adjacent to one of the flats under the head. Cut this off about an inch, inch and a half up, and this will drop right in the hole, which is over on this side over here. When you pull this off, it'll drop right in. The square locks in with the, the groove and it's fantastic, it works great, but only take about a hundred thousandths off. I don't know when this is in focus. Okay, about a hundred thousandths off, five sixteenths. You can order grade eight carriage bolts from Amazon. I ordered them. These are just grade two, but you put grade eight in there, it's not moving. Okay, another little thing which is good is a lock here uh, when you need it. It doesn't come with one, but if you make a little one like this, it's always there, it stays there. All right, now, the welding portion. Uh, I was having trouble practicing my coupons. These pliers here had a big arch like that. Both of these did. And this is an old rack from when I did the uh, lathe. I had it left over. So I just bent it. You could heat it and bend it. I bent it in the Edwards. And then weld it and put a little crick on the end here. Now, you can weld over the top of these arms. You don't have to put it this way and then weld awkward. Um, they work great. And another thing is, if you want to grab something that's bigger, you know, of course it adjusts, but you could grab it onto one of these little teeth here. And then you wouldn't, you know, just, just, just saying, you got a weird setup, you can clamp stuff on those teeth. Ah, oh, with the teeth. Okay, now the last thing is in the shed most of you probably know this but on these band saws okay everybody has them uh, i've had this one for over 30 40 years it's fantastic very very little bit of stuff to do to it to make it worthwhile the motor's still good i added these plates but now if you clamp something here and you tighten this you get that so what you do if you haven't figured this out yet these are fantastic Get a set of these adjustable parallels, cheap ones, and you set this up, you, you open this up in here, and then you lock it down, and it locks it any size, it's fantastic. I got all the different sizes here for whatever I'm gonna cut, but that's just a helpful little thing, it's quick. I used to have screws here with the holes, but it took forever to screw the thing in, and screw it out, going from something small to something big. So, uh, so that's a little helper. All right, I think that's it for now. This is a short one, thank you.